all the flying saucer, disc craft, UFO nonsense that's spread around all seems like explicit cover for Tesla disc turbine propulsion systems. They tell us that these are disc craft. Even the pictures of UFOs that we're told these are the real UFOs, when they go, they're faked pictures because really some dude went out in his yard and threw a metal plate up into the air and they took a picture of it and everyone thought it was a flying saucer. If your whole confidential project was built around a Tesla disc turbines and you wanted to give the illusion of like aliens or whatever nonsense, you take one of the discs, toss it in the air. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, the flying saucer. Spread tons of news all over the country about flying saucers and aliens. And every time anyone mentions the word disc, whether it's planned or not, oh my God, you know about the flying saucers? You can come up with whatever theory you want. Jeremy Corbell, yet another image of a separate UFO sighting. It's being called the chandelier. So what was the most impressive thing to you about this video, which the world has not seen yet? The fact that it is, it makes no sense. It is just the most bizarre structure with no purpose that has everyone across the intelligence community just asking questions and trying to figure out what this thing is. No wings. There's seemingly no place for anyone to sit on. It's just a bizarre shape. All right, we have the picture of the chandelier UFO, as it's being called. Where's the video, Jeremy? Yeah, that, that's part of the story. And I, I think I'm going to have to answer that at another time. But I, I will say this is that there is more footage. So some people got to see portions of it within the intelligence community. There is a bigger story to tell. The object did go into the water and then it did come out and shoot off at an extraordinary speed. Wait, are you talking about the- The propellers only have to spin 180 times a minute to move enough water to propel it forward. Once the loon copter wants to resurface, it self rides itself, and then it can spin the propellers, and then it takes off into the air like a normal drone. Amazing. Wait, are you talking about the fact that was a lie and it is now an admitted lie by our own Jeremy Corbell. It is understood that there are craft technologically advanced from unknown origin that are performing maneuvers that far exceed anything of human technology. It's a mechanistic turn. We have a craft without rotors moving in a way that is counterintuitive to our own aeronautics. This has to be a gravity propelled craft. It's rotated. Exactly the propulsion system that Bob Lazar described. Does Jeremy Corbell look like a fucking physicist to you? No, no, it doesn't. I know I'm clearly not doing any more digging into any particular topic. Wait a minute. Corbell has a degree from Santa Cruz that is in quantum study. I would think that if this is what he's doing and he actually has a background in physics, he would lead with that a little more. I'm finding a lot of people within this circle that should know about this, but just don't happen to understand it all. They don't get it. They can't figure it out. Usually that's a master's and PhD focus. I can't find anywhere that he's got a master's. Certainly doesn't use the word doctor on his name. I'm not saying he didn't. <laughs> What is this degree that you've got, bud? Just ridiculous. Moving in a way that is counterintuitive to our own aeronautics. That's absolutely not true. We have gyroscopic stabilizers for ships, planes, or satellites, because in space, for the satellite to turn, it pushes on the gyroscope, and it can turn the craft. This was the favorite lesson and demo I like to teach in the physics lab that I taught at Michigan Tech, because you could do some really cool steering around where you're turning. Like... It was a physics one first week stuff in physics here, Jeremy. Tesla's flying apparatus patent. He talks about using high speed dual Tesla turbine that are counter rotating, works as a gyroscope stabilizer. And if you go watch Travis Taylor's show about Tesla. Travis Taylor, Jason Stapleton, Charlie Mosaic, welcome to 20th Special Operations Squad. So they show him a picture here and ask him why it can't work without anything further. So this is a, a patent from Nikola Tesla. How feasible is something like that? The concept is, is certainly innovative and it would work. He has figured out using the same thrust for, for takeoff as he does for a fourth flight and has a wing. The big problem I see is there's no way to counteract torque there. Missing a tail rotor. You don't need it. You clearly want to make some. So why not just make it? Because I'm scared. Of what? I don't know. Exactly. Just make what you want to make. Do it. Worst come to worst, what's going to happen? You make it. Someone says they don't like it. Will you like it? Yeah. And that's all that matters. Never mind. In the patent, Tesla says you could do a multi-prop rotor across the wing. You know what the solution is, mate? What's that? Internal combustion. It's the solution to everything. Speed and power. 
aircraft, we have two prop rotors spinning that counteract the torque from each other. Bravo Zulu, Colonel. Counterbalance. Or, or, or another prop rotor. Or another prop rotor. Okay. Travis, I don't know how many times I'm going to catch you not doing your homework. It's right in the patent. It actually looks like they tricked a colonel to go on his television show and just didn't give him all the information so that he would say what they wanted to say. Allegedly. Good evening. This is John Lear. The Air Force has made a, an art form of uh, ridiculing people who have talked about this thing. They've done an excellent job of covering it up for the last 40 years. George, basically what we're dealing with here... In March 1989, he accompanied a small group to Area 51. Did you see that move it did? No, I didn't. It, it was like I kept doing... Doing... The person who initiated the desert outing was a scientist in May 1989 from Lear's driveway, a tale that spread around the world. They had a poster, and it looked like a commercial poster almost, like it was lithographed and you could buy it at a Kmart or something. The Air Force has made a, an art form and an excellent job of covering it up for the last 40 years. But they were all over the place, and they had the disc that I coined the term the sport model was lifted off the ground about three feet at uh, Area S4 on the dry lake there, and those are just all over the place. Later, he got to see the real thing. When I was let in, it was the first time I saw the sport model. I was told they could have walked me in the front door, but they purposely wanted to walk me by it. I was told not to say anything and just keep my eyes forward and, and walk past the disc into the office area. And I did, and uh, as we went by it, I just kind of stuck my hands on it. <laughs> just to run it alongside the thing. You know, I, that, that was about the smallest time. Air Force has made a, an art form of uh, ridiculing people who have talked about this thing. They've done an excellent job of covering it up for the last 40 years. Security at S-4 was oppressive, Lazar says, and used fear and intimidation almost as a brainwashing tool. Did everything but physically hurt me. Guards there with M-16s, and guys slamming their finger into my chest, screaming in my ear, some people pointing weapons at me. Like I said, it's not a, it's not a good place to work. This is based on what I've come across after intense research in the last year. Now, even this starting piece, a solid cylinder, is not even a solid cylinder. It consists of many discs stacked up and these are fused together to produce that and all of these pieces of all these discs that were cut at unusual angles now apparently if you don't do all this that doesn't work so unfortunately that's the extent of my knowledge on this this makes no sense anywhere but that's what it takes for it to operate in a small reactor directs it through the archways into the emitters and allows it to propel the craft for whatever use they want. How can this be true? I don't believe a word of this. Uh, do you expect people to believe this? No, I'm not going to change anyone's mind. That's not my intention. I'm just, I'm just relaying that it's true. Did you know that the Tesla turbine is reversible in not just one way, but two? Let me tell you how that is and why that's an important feature to have. That's true. That is designed to produce mechanical and electrical power from the kinetic energy of a flowing fluid. But what does it mean when we say it's reversible? Firstly, without any complex means like a reversing gear, the turbine can be spun in the opposite direction. All that is needed is for a switching mechanism to change the direction in which the fluid comes spiraling in through the disc stack. Normal bladed turbines can't do this due to the blade geometry design. Secondly, the Tesla turbine is also said to be reversible because it can work like a centrifugal pump or compressor. Instead of using a fluid to spin the discs, the rotor can actually be spun to propel the fluid along with the discs as they rotate. Or option number three, Travis Taylor, who works with all the aerospace industry and a bunch of aerospace commission and working with the Air Force all the time is in fact working with the Air Force currently. And you'll say to yourself, my gosh, the son of a gun was right. <laughs> well, there goes Andrew Bustamante, a known CIA agent. So definitely has some counterintelligence agents out here, whether he's on the docket or not. It's surprising to us in a lot of ways. And first of all, really, in just how much it seems to be under the radar. Bustamante. We didn't really hear of it much either. We came across Andrew. in our research and found out there's a long history of high strangeness and significant military presence. As we started digging into Bustamante, found as it has counterintelligence agents. I don't know if we can make a video short enough to fit all these people in here. Well, they determined I didn't need to know. I was already cleared at such a high level, handling presidential material and everything. Like Dave needs to know. The original shape most likely was like a lenticular. What does lenticular mean? 
disc-like crafts, you know, with like two dinner plates smushed together, right? Tesla disc turbine propulsion systems. Classic. Classic. Like, yeah. Saucer. Disc propulsion. Like that. Like that. <laughs> it's true. But it looks like the edges broke off, so it became this like bell-shaped thing. And there was nothing in it. It was like just an artifact, you know. It's like Dave needs to know to disclose to a government official who, what, when, where, why, where the shit is, who's in control of it, what are the cover programs, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. What are the cover programs, the cover programs, cover programs. Cover for Tesla disc turbine propulsion systems. The flying saucer. The whole confidential project was built around a Tesla disc turbines, and you want cover program. You give the illusion of like aliens or whatever nonsense. You take Jeremy Corbell, toss it in the air. My, you could infer that. You could infer that. Yeah. Fucking nuts. And that's what deemed my complaint credible and urgent in July 2022. How many times have you been told that Tesla turbines don't work? Can't produce power, have no torque. And that's what deemed my my complaint credible and urgent in July 2022, uh, which is a, so that my complaint, yes, was about reprisal too. I filed that separately eventually to the, the Department of Defense Inspector General. That's an ongoing investigation, but my, it was my congressional oversight uh, UAP crash retrieval allegations that was deemed uh, credible and urgent. It was sent to the Director of National Intelligence, and then it was sent to the Congressional Intelligence Committee's around that time, July of 2022. And I eventually went to Congress in December of 2022, and it's a crazy story why it took so long. It's fucking nuts. Incredible and urgent in July 2022. Brand new fuel tank system for being able to do liquid fuels and gaseous fuels at the same time. Holy cow! thing is putting out eat. I haven't been on this side over here. This was me a year ago, highly motivated, chasing my dreams, pursuing my passions, and now a year later, this is me still on that grind boy. In July I thought this was you thought I was gonna give up? Nah. Like does anyone else think it's like super weird? My complaint credible and urgent in July 2022. How many times have you been told Mr. that Tesla turbines don't work? You know, Can't produce we, power, we, have no torque. Suck up. Does anyone else think it's like super weird? You could infer that. You could infer that. Yeah. Uh, which is a incredible <laughs> solution in July 2022. Yes, it was about reprisal too. I filed that separately eventually. By using small amounts of throttle, the driver is being gentle on his vehicle, and just as important, he's being considerate of the surface on which he is traveling. Drop. Good as a fast car, a flash house, and a gold plate of dunny to me. Absolutely no good at all. I've been put on this planet to protect wildlife and wilderness areas, which in essence is going to help humanity. I want to have the purest oceans. I want to be able to drink water straight out of that creek. I want to stop the ozone layer. Won't make it. Your head is in the clouds. You're delusional. Dreamer. Get a job. You're boring. What if it doesn't work? You think you're better than us? Give up. Weirdo. I don't like you. You are so weird. Just give up already. Why are you even trying? Art form. Ridiculing people. It's my destiny. <laughs> This is a vast area, and I think Andy and I have sketched out sort of our plan of attack. We're going to start in Jeremy Corbell. Then we're going to move up into the mountains toward Travis Taylor, where we've gotten all these reports of this Skinwalker Ranch, and, and try and put some special agent with the Air Force Office of Special Investigations. Our marching orders. Feels like we do. We're ready to go. Good luck, fellas. Good, Good luck. Makes sense. It can't be true. I got all kinds of questions about like functionality, like how it works, and it's just a really unique. Call me and everyone else. Check out my Earth Network playlist. It's right up here or down here. A lot of other videos you go through. Got all the physics explained. If you want to learn more, there's plenty to learn. You can come up with whatever theory you want. The more you fuck around, the more you're gonna find out. Well, I hope this lesson is helpful. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Fucking nuts. Um. Incredible and urgent in July 2022. Hmm, I don't know why. Just, it's just a coincidence.
if we 